Hi guys, it's Barnaby outside White Hart Lane for Spurred On. It was Tottenham nil, Everton nil. We've got three big Spurs fans. We've got kits on. I'm going to come to you first because you're the most handsome. How did you feel about that game overall, mate? Shock. You're saying shocking as well? Uh, Mason's goal should have been a goal. We missed it. So we missed our chances. What, uh, what do you think about Harry Kane's chance in the first half? He had a bit too much time to think about it, didn't he? I feel, you know, last season he would have buried that definitely. But I think the pressure that we're putting on him, you know, I just don't think that he's going to be the success he was last season. Do you know what? I think I think you've made a really a really good point there, which is the pressure is all completely on him, and we shouldn't forget that. Um, he does definitely need some help coming in, doesn't he? Who would you like to bring in to help him out? I don't want Berahino. Okay. I th I think West Brom want around 30 million from him. I don't think he's going to start for us, and I wouldn't spend that much on a squad player. But I'd like Austin. With there's been rumours of us bringing in Pato. And he scored around, I think, 21 goals, despite being in the Brazilian league in 2015, which, you know, as a squad player, I'd, I'd take that. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't made a big money risk on a Brazilian player since Paulinho, so I think that's probably a good idea. Guys, a, a little bit of positivity coming out of it, even though it's raining and we haven't won a game this season. Uh, it looked a bit slicker, I felt, today, and, uh, and certainly tighter at the back, didn't it? I feel that Ali is a very promising player. He came on and he changed the game straight away. Pritchard should have come on 65th, 70th minute, not the 83rd. Mm. And I feel that Dyer played, I thought Dyer was quite solid at um, yeah. the central midfield. He came, he came back when we were attacking and he defended well. And I think that's a promising science, but we need that clinical, clinical finisher. Yeah. We had so many chances today and we didn't bury one of them. Okay, and I'm going to end with you, little man. Uh, I'm going to talk, I talk about this quite a lot. Eric Lamella, he, he wasn't brought on today, and in front of him were Ali and Pritchard. Are you an Eric Lamella fan? Would you keep him at the club? What do you think? No. No, you sell him? Yeah. There you go. He had the last word. It's over for you, Eric Lamella. Let us know if you agree with them and me in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter, at TV. Cheers, guys. Have a good trip home. Cheers.